am Dr. Ajay Vyas, Senior Consultant in Neurology, practicing in the city of Mumbai since more than 33 years. My special interest is epilepsy and stroke. I am associated with Lilawati Hospital and Research Center since more than 12 years. Today, I am going to tell you some do's and don'ts in a patient of epilepsy who is actively seizuring or having a convulsions. First and foremost, safety of the patient is our prime concern. When a patient is having an active seizure, there are all chances he might hurt himself. So the first and foremost, we should see that any objects that are lying near the patient should be discarded or should be kept aside so that he doesn't hurt himself. Next and most important thing is that as soon as the patient is scissoring, turn him horizontally to either the right side or the left side. In this way, you are trying to prevent any aspiration of saliva or vomitus that can go to the throat or lungs. Secondly, once the patient is scissoring, the entire episode is going to continue no matter what you do. So in this case, don't try to restrain a patient by holding his hands, legs or tying him. By doing these things, you will hurt the patient and there are all chances that that might be muscle injury, there might be dislocation of joints. So avoid restraining the patient. Next very important thing is once the seizure is complete, don't try to feed the patient, don't try to give medicine, don't try to feed the patients or don't try to pour uh, water or fruit juice in his throat, you know. This might lead to aspiration, the contents might go into the lung and this might lead to aspiration pneumonitis. So very important thing, avoid doing all those things with the, that I mentioned. Once the patient has completed the seizure, he'll be in a drowsy state or he'll be unconscious for some time and try and remain in that state for some time. So don't, and there might be biting of the tongue during the episode, which might lead to bleeding. Bleeding is alarming for the patients, relatives and bystanders. But the injury to the tongue is not a major one and this is going to heal by itself within a period of few days. Thank you.